First, I researched the number of designs and shapes and decided that using an arch was the best, incorporating triangle trusses for strength. They have been used for thousands of years as they are very strong. I developed my design, an arch of 28cm, depth of 22 and span of 55 centimeters. This project, I decided to use spaghetti and hot glue. I then got to work building a prototype to test my design, and after a short period, I was ready for testing. I wanted to see how much it would hold before failing. I continued to add additional weight until I could take no more. Six kilograms was okay, but seven was too much. lessons learned from my prototype and began to rebuild, increasing the span and reducing the amount of pasta. After two weeks, my bridge is finally done. As you can see, it's made out of pasta and hot glue. Now it's time for the load test, but first let's see if the span is correct. As you can see, the span is 520 millimeters, exceeding its specification of 500. Now it's time for the load test. These are one kilogram weights. Let's first add on the kilo. Awesome! It can hold one kilogram. Now let's add on another kilo and see what happens. Fantastic! It can hold two. This exceeds its specification of 500 grams. But my bridge has a problem. It doesn't really look like a bridge. It has no roads, no cars. I know what to do. I got equipment from J. Cohen Bunnings and made some amendments, putting in a road, painting, and electronics. To ensure it works, I designed my electronics with the help of a simulator and prototypes. I am very happy with the result. Welcome back! As you can see, I've made some changes to my bridge. I've painted the bridge, I've added a road with some cars, I've added some flags on top of my bridge, but I've got a really big surprise. Check this out! I have decided to add some street lights and flashing lights to on any little planes of my awesome bridge. Some of the problems I faced were my prototype span not being long enough, my technique of sticking the pasta together needed improvement, and my prototype was too heavy, so I needed to reduce the amount of pasta. The biggest issue with my design is it used too much materials for the criteria of 500 grams. If this was a real bridge, it would have cost it a lot more than required, as it used too much material. The bridge is not a modern design. Most iconic modern bridges have integrated different arches that create a better aesthetic. In my design, I factored function over form. To make my bridge more appealing, I added additional features. The arch was able to carry a lot of weight, which surprised me. I was very nervous when I was going to test the prototype, as I thought it would not get to 500 grams. And when it got to 6 kilograms, it was a fantastic feeling. Thank you for your consideration for the Engineering Excellence Program 2024.